Hey everybody, Robert Rambles here, and welcome to Wrath of the Lich King Classic. And another Joyous Journeys. That's right, Blizzard sprung the Joyous Journeys buff on us this week. They gave us one day <laughs> to know about the Joyous Journeys. At least as far as I saw, we only had the one day notice. And I don't know if a lot of people know this, but the buff actually goes into effect before the maintenance. So it is maintenance day, and we are going to have server maintenance today, but before we have server maintenance, we're going to get a little bit of a head start on our Fresh Start Shaman here on the Mancrick server, that's a US East server, and it's one of the big Horde servers, so if you're looking for a place to play Horde, and you have a character that you have been waiting to level up, or maybe you're jumping back on a character... If you want to start a fresh character here on Mancrick with us, hoping we could do some dungeons at Endgame here on Mancrick would be great. We can get some heroics, some raids out. But first, we get to enjoy the leveling journey. So yeah, if you want to play on Mancrick, add me to your friend list. I'll put a link to the Discord in the description below. And that way, you know, you guys can group up, we can get into groups when I'm on. Looking forward to doing some five mans. We've been doing a lot of classic hardcore, and in classic hardcore, you really don't get to do a lot of dungeons, so. We are gonna be making the shaman elemental slash resto. Not that we're gonna have the money for dual spec. You know what? I might be able to scrounge up the money from alts on this server. Let's do a couple of settings here. Interface. We need auto loot. Auto loot says it's on, but it's not. There we go. Now it's on. And we're also going to be going leatherworking skinning. Because I just hate leaving skins on the ground. I have to remind myself that this isn't classic vanilla, so I can kind of just cast at these guys, and mana regen is not going to be an issue. Not for a little while. Let me know about the sound settings. I, I typically want to keep the music and ambient noises up. Everything should be dialed in pretty well. But if you think anything needs to be adjusted for the sake of immersion, let me know. Yeah, there's, there's no one on, which for a Joyous Journeys is not typical. What I'm thinking is that, like I said, I don't know if most people realize that the buff goes live before the maintenance happens. I don't think that I knew that the first time we got uh, Joyous Journeys. I think I logged in with like 10 minutes before the, re before the reset and saw that the buff was active. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's good. Now, they don't have an end date for this, I noticed. At least, I didn't see an end date. And I wonder if they're intentionally not broadcasting an end date so they can keep it kind of flexible, depending on how how much good it does them, I guess. When you see something like that, you know, like the Joyous Journeys buff is clearly meant to bring people back, or if you have kind of lapsed, get you to come back, level up an alt, or maybe finish leveling a character that you abandoned. One of the stats that came out recently from a Blizzard poll that was sent out was that out of the people polled, only 1% of players enjoyed doing Wrath Classic Dungeons uh, at Endgame. It wasn't an Endgame, it was just a general question. I don't think it was specifically Endgame. But yeah, it was 1% said that they enjoyed Wrath Classic 5 men. And I guess the biggest reason for most people is that people want the Looking for Dungeon tool. People want to be able to just jump in and get put into a group at this point. And I'm wondering if that's something Blizzard has up their sleeve. Or if they're really going to wait for Ice Crown Patch to come out for that. Because I'm pretty sure that's when it originally came out. Let's sell our junk. Strength and honor. Dabu. We did hit level 2, so we'll train our skills here. Rockbiter weapon 1. Farewell. I do f 
feel like we could go up a bit here. So we got Rock Lighter Weapon. Imbue the Shaman's Weapon, increasing its damage per second, lasts 30 minutes. Right, it lasts 30 minutes because we are in Wrath and not in Vanilla Era. Let's go into Interface. I need a couple more action bars going on. And we want to always show them. There we go. Sunk Sunk. Dabu. As far as add-ons, we're using Immersion. We are using Questy. We are using Pawn, which is what was giving us the item comparisons. When we hover over the item, uh, whether or not it's an upgrade will be shown there for the different specs. Just makes comparing gear easy, especially this is useful more at endgame. Go with honor. Go forth. So we need to go talk to our class trainer, and then we need to go collect some Scorpid Worker Tails. What can I do for you? Go forth to victory. Now, if you've been around the channel for a while, you know that a lot of the times I'll read all the quests, but I've read all these quests so many times at this point that I think in this joyous journey, we are just gonna... we're just gonna level up. Speak and what I'm looking forward to is actually oh, getting into oh, Northrend, and we haven't read any of the Horde side quests in Northrend yet, really. We did a little bit in Borean Tundra on the Warrior, but I'm looking forward to reading all the quests in Northrend, so... That is what I'm looking forward to as far as seeing some story and lore and stuff like that. Uh, we could probably grab the Vile Familiar's quest, that would be good. I really wish that we had access to like more active player numbers. I'd really like to know daily logins to Wrath of the Lich King versus daily logins to Classic Era servers. I wonder if there's if that data exists anywhere on the interwebs. I'm sure Blizzard has that data. I would hope that they have that data. That would be data that I would want. I mean, I just have a feeling that based on this, based on this, <laughs> I, I just, and this is like, a, this is a big horde server, so very, very populated. If there's going to be a place where people are rolling ults, it's going to be here. Um, yeah, and I just feel like classic, classic era is probably a lot more popular right now than Wrath of the Lich King. And if that's the case, like, I, I wonder how Blizzard feels about that, and I wonder if they go into like a state of denial, or if they like embrace it, or, or what they do. I do feel like we're entering a, what's going to be a really, really interesting time for classic World of Warcraft. It's an interesting time for WoW in general. It's a good time for retail, because retail is doing really good, I hear. All the news I see about retail just says that for people who love retail, retail is doing good. So that's great to hear. And I feel like we're about to enter like a really interesting time for classic content. With the official hardcore coming up, with the new season sometime off in the future, probably, you know, probably 2024, or maybe maybe November or so of 2023. But then I wonder what they're going to do for, like, Wrath of the Lich King. Or if maybe we get to a point where maybe they'll buckle down on, uh, on Classic Era. I think if they took the data about how popular Classic Era is right now, 
and if they combine that with the number of people who want like a classic plus and then they look at the number of people who don't want to see cataclysm classic i think if they saw all those numbers like together <laughs> it would become pretty clear that the way to go would probably just be to do a classic plus and on top of seasons, start start adding some new content each season. New zones, utilizing zones that, you know, we don't ever really get to go to in Classic is, is always fun. Definitely lots of zones out there that are underutilized. That could be like, you know, stories could be slid into place, quest lines could be slid into place in those places. We could fight some of the Vile Familiars. This one's level 4. We're missing. He's got a fireball incoming. Oh, he actually hit us. For like, 2 damage. Uh, we got a junk shield. Is it going to have more armor than the one we have? Yeah, it has 32 armor. Better than 5 armor, we'll equip it, even though it's a junk shield. Uh, what else do we got? Nothing we can equip. Okay. Oh, we are done with this quest. I, I'm just killing guys out of reflex because it's, it's so easy to do. I was wondering about if I wanted to take this guy, Gale character, into like Ghostlands at some point, just for the better questing and rewards. But when I think about the rewards, there really isn't going to be any intellect leather there, is there? Because none of the Blood Elves can wear... Well... Well, I mean, no, your hunters would probably have agility, agility int and stuff like that. Hmm. I love enhancement on the shaman, but I, I feel like going elemental is going to be easier and better long term, just because we can share some gear between elemental and resto. Otherwise, we have to have like two entirely different gear sets with the two entirely different stat loadouts. Alright, we got the worker tails. Let's head down here and grab this guy's quest. So yeah, we, oh, we can't even get into the... Oh, so, you know, I'm trying to look at talent trees that we can't even access yet. Hmm. Melee attack power and spell damage is a nice cooldown. Two minutes, that's quite often we can use that.
He wants us to kill the giant scorpion that has poisoned him. Let's head up here and do that really quick. Now this area back here is actually a shortcut back to town that we'll use, but let's go get his follow-up first. It was only 20 years before I realized you can come back here and you can jump down and just be right back in town. It took until like last year in Classic for me to realize that you could do this. That's what I love about this game. Is that you can literally play it for 20 years and you will always, if you do a playthrough on a character, like start to finish, you will always learn new things and new places in the world and about the world. Doesn't matter how long you've played. There are new corners of Azeroth that you have yet to see, you know. Uh, this is probably safe. Let's try to m make it for the roof. Uh, well, yeah, that's fine. I also have to remind myself this is not hardcore, that I can die and it's okay. Uh, let's take the battered cape, I suppose. Strength. Go with honor. Uh, let's take the let's take the staff. Yeah, I like having the shield for when things hit us. Let's take the club. Go forth, Victor. May your blades never dull. She wants us to go back into the cave where the uh, demons were and get the burning blade medallion. You're gonna have our I earth totem quest. Are. Fellstalker hooves are also gonna come from that Later. same cave. Uh, we need to learn our. What do you need? Level 4 ability, Earth Shock. We can't train it because we are broke. I might have to send myself some gold at some point, and I'm probably going to send myself some bags as well. So, that's going to happen after maintenance, probably. But we should be okay for now. Let's equip this and sell the old one. We'll sell the mail. Strength, be safe. Well, there we go. Now we should have the money we need. And no, someone's going to ask at some point. I don't have heirlooms. Uh, I, I never farmed enough badges on my paladin to get heirlooms. I, I'm just, you know, and now no one's doing five man. No one's doing five man runs <laughs> in classic uh, Wrath anymore because only 1% of people like doing five men runs in Wrath Classic, so no one does them, so yeah. No, I haven't farmed up the badges to... And I'm not in a guild, so I don't have access to the guild ones either. So yeah, it'll be a no heirloom run. I understand it would be faster with heirlooms. It'll be fast enough without them. What do you need? Go for Now we need to get to wake up some lazy peons here. Oh, I know you can. That's why I hit you. Uh, apparently it's been 30 minutes, or did I... How did I lose my rock biter weapon? Okay. Uh, I'll assume maybe 30 minutes passed without me realizing it. Don't think so. Don't think that's true, but... I <laughs> guess it's possible. I guess time slips away when you're enjoying yourself and having a nice easy time here. No competition for mobs. Things are dying swiftly. No fear of death. Looks like this PM might have just woken up. Uh, do we want to go into the cave? Could head that way.
And this one woke himself up as well. We were not having really good luck with that. Let's head into the cave. You know what, though? If we wake up all the peons first, then we get the quest for Thrazzle's pick. And then we can just go into the cave once instead of having to go into the cave twice. You know what I mean? And we can hearth back to the to the camp back there as soon as we get the rest of the peons. But yeah, I feel like maybe that's the better way to do it. Because otherwise, we are going to go into the cave twice. That's not going to feel super awesome. Okay. Especially without there being a lot of people around. Um, without there being a lot of people around, we're going to have to fight more. Which we don't really need to do. Yeah, let's, we'll wake up these last two. Hopefully we get to this one before he wakes himself up. And then we can hearth back. Turn this one in and then head back out. There we go. Now we can go into the cave. Let's also put Earthshock out on our bar. That would be super useful. So Earthshock in Wrath instantly shocks the target with Concussive Force, causing 17 to 20 nature damage and reducing melee attack speed. So this is not an interrupt. In vanilla, it's super powerful because it's, it's an interrupt, which is awesome. And that's, you know, it was OP. And so, therefore, eventually it got changed. Now it reduces melee attack speed by 10% for 8 seconds, which is not as useful as being a full-fledged interrupt. And I don't know when we get another interrupt. Wind shear, maybe, at some point. I'm realizing that, you know, we're just running through here because they're non-aggressive now, but we actually need some of these guys. Just the fell stalkers. We're looking for hooves. I always forget that they took all the aggressive mobs out of the game. Not out of the game. <laughs> they took all aggressive mobs out of the starting areas in the game. And, and significantly increased all the drop rates. It makes a quest like this basically nothing. <laughs> This is not a good introduction to the World of Warcraft, because now it says, oh, the World of Warcraft is you just running through a cave of shit you don't have to fight ever. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. So, yeah, great. I almost went to interrupt that with Earthshock, but yeah, it's, it's not going to do that. There's the Burning Blade Medallion. We didn't even have to stand in a line. If we jump down here, we should be able to get the pick. Um, hmm? Now the pick is by the waterfall. Oh, apparently maybe there are two different areas of water. This is not the area that we're looking for. So it's got to be around on the other side of the wall. It was very unnatural just to run past all these guys.
There's our pick. Now granted, yeah, now we can't hearth out from here, that's true, but hey, it's an easy run out now because we don't have to worry about fighting anything. In fact, we're like, we're basically just losing really easy kill XP, which early on is like worth a lot. I should probably fight some of these guys. Especially because they're super easy to kill and there's there's not really a lot they can do to me at this point. If we have mana, we'll fight something. For the Horde! Strength and honor fight well, friend. Go with honor. Strength. Who you be? Be seeing ya. See ya later. All right, now we need to find the shaman place. Uh, we can also train, perhaps. Earthbind totem. Summons an earthbind totem with five health. Forty-five seconds that slows the movement speed of your enemies. And healing wave rank two. And the secret pathway, I believe, is back here.
Doki. See ya later. All right, that's everything there is to do here. Now we are off to Sunjin Village. <laughs> I don't know why I'm having trouble getting over to that, but it's frustrating. That's so weird. Okay, we're hovering over it. A boop, and it's gone. That's so messed up. I'm not sure what's happening. Never had a problem tracking stuff before. I'll look at that later. That's that's silly. Something happening with the mouse over. It's supposed to keep it up until you get over into the sub menu, but it's not doing it. Perhaps Questy needs an update. <laughs> I was trying to see if there was a skinning trainer anywhere, but we'll just ask a guard eventually. I was hoping there'd be one either down in Senjin Village or Razor Hill. But it's entirely possible that we will have to go to, to uh, Orgrimmar for skinning and leatherworking. I don't know if I'm going to do cooking and fishing and stuff on this character. We'll kind of see how the playthrough goes. And how the journey goes, and if you guys are digging it or not. And then that'll determine whether or not I want to invest that additional time. Uh, because a lot of the times I do fishing and cooking off recording, so... Because I don't think anybody wants to watch that or should be subjected to it. I don't have enough interesting things to talk about. To feel good about recording myself fishing. That's kind of where I'm at on it. you want How you doing? let's empty the old inventory I don't think we're gonna need the potion but we'll keep a hold of it for a little bit be seeing ya. What you want? Later. How you doing, man? Okie dokie. Yeah, it looks like at, at level 8, I'm sure we get rank 2 of Lightning Bolt, from the way this feels. We, we're going to get rank 2 of Lightning Bolt. We're also going to be in a spot where we might need to buy some water in a second here. Maybe there will be someone in Senjin Village that can sell water to us. That would be ideal. We do have a little bit of water. I could melee swing more, it, you know, that's fine. If we have to do that to keep going pull to pull, we will. 
I could pop my cooldown sometimes to just kill a little bit faster for a minute. There we go, this might be our first aggressive mob we've encountered. Guys, the more I'm on the shaman, the more I'm like, am I going to be able to resist going enhancement? I don't know. I like enhancement a lot. I like melee a lot. And I'm like, oh man, I know that elemental's super powerful. And I know it would make it easier to heal dungeons. I don't really want to heal five mans leveling up, man. I want to DPS. I, I want to heal raids. I want to heal raids on this character, but... I don't want to really heal leveling dungeons, because that's kind of boring, to be quite honest. Uh, so I would rather just DPS if we do leveling dungeons, which I don't know how many we'll do. We'll probably do them once for the quest, if we can. Uh, you know, the, what'll make me do more dungeons is if some of you guys actually come and level up characters on Mancrick. And then, uh, you know, jump in the Discord, add me to your friends list. Basically, if you put a group together and you want to do a dungeon and I'm online on this character, there's like an 80% chance to hit that I'll, that I'll come run the dungeon with you if we're all at level, where we stand to get good kill experience out of it. And if I haven't already done it a bazillion times. Uh, yeah, good chance if you got a group starting and you got at least a tank or a healer <laughs> that if you whisper me, I will jump into your group because I I'm desperate. We haven't been able to do a lot of 5-mans. I'd like to do them, but again, I'd like to DPS them. We'll, we'll check out some of her uh, swings. I want to see how what, what her swing animations look like for two-handed weapons. I don't even know if you can two-hand... If you could two-hand enhancement in, uh, in Wrath or not, I have no idea. Or if it's all dual wield. Uh, we need one more eye. Which I'd like to get while there's a lot of them around. This guy is way out there. I guess we're melting both of their eyeballs with our lightning, and we should probably stop doing that. That's probably what's happening. There we go, that's four out of four. We still need a lot of crawler mucus though.
I want to level our weapon skills up too, so I'm, I'm going to do some melee here. A little bit of melee at a time. We'll conserve a little bit of mana, we'll level our weapon skill up. It'll be a win-win. Basically when they get into melee, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just start meleeing them. For now. Let's turn in this one. We could probably go out and get the tiger furs. I thought there was a quest for raptor eggs, but I don't see it now unless this one chains into it. What you want, spirits? Be with you, man. We got the really sticky glue, uh, which is basically invaluable in hardcore. We'll put it out on our bar just in case we get into any kind of trouble. Yeah, maybe they got rid of the raptor egg quest in Wrath? I don't know. Uh, we got trainers here. Herbalism, alchemy. We got a butcher, a baker, candlestick. No, 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 that's something else. Mage trainer. But I, I don't think we have skinners and whatnot, fishing supplies, general goods. Let's buy a little bit of water. Me got the good stuff, man. Okay, okay. Let's go try to get the tiger furs. Should be able to get them just on the islands here. We'll get the tiger furs, and then maybe we'll head up to Razor Hill. That's probably going to see us at level 8, so I'd like to go train level 8 at that point. Before we do much else in the Echo Isles, I'd, I'd like to at least get Lightning Bolt rank 2. And then the keep up here, Kaltirans, they might be a level 6 or level 7 quest, so we might want to do that while we're up there as well. With the Joyous Journeys buff, I remember that we, we didn't really out-level stuff. Um, as long as we weren't zone hopping, we didn't really out-level stuff. So that shouldn't really be an issue right now. We, we shouldn't out-level anything. By out-level, I mean get it to a point where we're so high of a level that it's... Oh, they can't come out of the water. That the quest is gray and we don't get XP from it. I think you have six levels, you can be above the quest, you're still going to get full experience. I see even these guys at level 7 are smacking us a bit. And what kind of sucks here is that we're, we're missing skins, basically. But, you know, we, we skin so much, and skinning always gets so far ahead of other professions that I, I don't feel too bad about it. I think it'll be okay. We'll make sure that after this, when we, we run to Razor Hill, we'll eventually get our way to Ogremar and make sure we get skinning and leather working trained up. This guy's level 8. We could drop our totems. You know, that's definitely a real thing that we could do. Um, although we have Earthbind Totem, we have Stone Skin. Yeah, the Raptors are still here, but no Egg Quest. The Egg Quest was always kind of annoying anyway, but maybe something else will chain into it, though. I, it seems weird that they would get rid of it. I don't really see what the motivation would be for getting rid of it.
Oh, that's right. We got the race specific totems when the Draenei came into the game, didn't we? Was that when it happened or did it happen later? This is a Wrath totem, isn't it? Yeah, maybe we got these in Wrath. That's really cool. It's like orc specific. Hmm. Do the Torin get stuck with the original ones? With the original totems? Looks like we're still getting the totem effect, even through the wall here, which is pretty awesome. Alright, that's all the furs we need. Let's head back to the village. And then we have 15 minutes left before the server shut down. We could definitely get up to Razor Hill. Um, I, I think we'll hit level 8. If we don't, we'll grind a couple enemies on the way. We'll get level 8 and we'll train our level 8 abilities.
How you doing, man? All right, yeah, as far as I can tell, they, they deleted the Raptor Egg Quest. Oh, you know what? They didn't. The Raptor Egg Quest comes from somebody in, uh, in Razor Hill. That's what it was. And we somehow missed the Peon's Burden when we ran out. I, I'm not sure how we managed to do that, but we'll grab Peon's Burden. Now, we have a little bit of our bar left to go before we ding, so we will fight a few things on the way after grabbing this breadcrumb. And there we go, there's level 8. Let's get ourselves up to Razor Hill, we'll train, and I, I think I have time to get to Orgrimmar and uh, get to where we can learn our skinning and leatherworking. That would be pretty awesome. Let's just go ahead and grab everything here. Blood and thunder. What do you need? And let's head over into the great hall over here. We'll learn our level eight abilities. The barracks, excuse me. It's not the great hall, it's the barracks. Okay, we're probably not going to have all of our all the coin we need. Let's grab Lightning Bolt 2. Let's grab Earthshock 2 already. 
Lightning Shield, Rock Biter 2. Oh, you know what? We're good. We are actually we are actually good. Which is awesome. Now our spell ranks are still manual and classic. Okay, so I still have to go in and I have to grab the new spell ranks. That's going to be absolutely huge. Let's put this on our bar in case we run into any problems. We can taunt one of the enemies off of us with that. We're going to bind ourselves here, I believe. Yeah, let's bind ourselves Mokhtar. here. Strength for the horde. Be safe. May your blades never dull. Oh, that sounded like some cool id music. I'm going to have to let that play at some point. Now, there are some quests up in the tower. Uh, that's the break a few eggs quest. We'll get that when we hearth back before we head back down to Senjin Village to do everything else. For now, I think I want to head up to Orgrimmar. We have eight minutes. That's more than enough time to get to Orgrimmar, get our leatherworking and skinning, and get parked so we can soak up a little bit of rested XP while these servers are down. I, I'm going to jump back on here today after the servers come back up and play some more. Uh, and I'm kind of trying to feel out, you know, how much I want to push in this joyous journey. I'd love to get this character to be our first max level character on the Horde side. And I'd love for some of you guys to join me on that journey so we can dungeon together and stuff like that later on. And, you know, while we're leveling up. So, like I said earlier, I will have the Discord link to the Mancrick leveling channel in the description. And if you're a chill, level-headed human being and you want to hang out, do some runs, uh, click the link. Come join us. And that'll kind of probably determine like how many runs I do leveling up. Uh, because without the looking for dungeon tool, I don't want to spend a lot of my time trying to find groups manually. But as I said, if I catch an invite for a group that's forming up, whisper me. Let me know what's going down. And if I'm on playing this character, you have like an 80% chance that I'll drop what I'm doing to do an at-level dungeon run. That's how long it's been since we've been able to do a lot of dungeon runs. Uh, I'm eager to do it if it's if it's a group that's forming up and not something that I have to spam for, look for, wait for, etc. The waiting part I actually don't mind. It's the it's the putting effort in trying to type, find people, look at the listing while I'm trying to do other stuff. Uh, we can grab this guy's quest just to have it. We're not gonna work on it. Well, I mean, I keep saying stuff like we're not gonna work on it soon. No, yeah, have a good one. we will. We will. We can work on it anytime because we're gaining levels so quickly. So, we can actually probably do that anytime. Oh, the double zeppelins. That Zeppelin's heading to Northrend, I'm pretty sure. Triple Zeps? Triple Zeps. I don't think I've ever seen triple Zeppelins. <laughs> Maybe it's common. Maybe they usually come at the same time. I don't know. I've never, I've never seen three Zeppelins circling the tower. Circling, waiting, waiting for landing permission. And I think for next time, I will probably send this character some 16 or 20 slot bags, depending on what kind of gold I have on the server and what I can afford still. And that'll give us a, a good head start. That way we're not leaving loot on the ground that we can sell and stuff like that. I, I'd love to catch dual spec sometime relatively early. I just don't know if that's going to happen. And again, I, I, I mean, I think I might want a level enhancement. I always, I always tend towards the melee. I know that like going elemental is going to potentially be better in the sense that we'll be stacking gear similar to our healing gear, but I, I'm not wanting to heal leveling dungeons anyway kind of makes me not care about that so much. And then we can reassess at, uh, at endgame. At endgame we'll probably go Ellie Resto because that's going to be simplest. But I, I don't think it matters if we, if we build up 
if we build that up, just do going enhancement in the meantime. Once we get into our talents, I'll take a look at some of the talents and see if I if I like what I see. I'm I'm not super familiar with either of the shaman specs. I think the highest we've ever got a shaman to is like what level 25, 28. Maybe we had a troll shaman once upon a time that got to like level 28. Uh, leather working, yes. And skinning. We'll buy a skinning knife. What do you need? All right. Go forth to yeah, I think that's good. Let's check out our our Hearthstone is off cooldown, so I'm gonna actually let's look around. Is there anything else we need to do here? We should have the flight point already. We don't need that. Yeah, I think we're good. We, let's hearth back to Razor Hill. And that way we'll just be in a good position to pick things up next time. And yeah, we'll be breaking here. The server's going to go down in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So yeah, thank you guys for joining me. And for being here for the start of this journey. You know, the joyous journeys, it always gives that opportunity to jump back into Wrath. To pick up a fresh character. To, to pick up a character that kind of you fell out of at some point. And it's good. Um, how many people are going to be interested in it at this point? I really don't know. I, I don't know what the interest level is going to be with how popular vanilla is right now. But we'll kind of see as we, hey, there's a lot more people on. <laughs> like The server's about to go down and finally people are on. So, you know, it, it could be promising. We'll check things out later. I think a lot more people will be on after the maintenance. And we'll kind of see how popular this joyous journey is and how many other players we're going to have alongside us. Hope to see you guys in the Discord and in the game sometime soon. Thank you so much for being here. If you are enjoying the content, subbing to the channel if you're not already, leaving a like, ringing the bell, all those things would help me out immensely, and I greatly appreciate those that do. Until next time, guys, take care of yourselves out there in the real world and take care of each other, and we will see you back here again very soon. Bye for now.